Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and we are here with a love reading for Leos. Okay, Leo, you are releasing something. The Judgment card, Scorpio energy. You are releasing something that's going to create so much more happiness for you. Look at this wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. The timing is right. Jupiterian energy. Good luck is on your side. Sagittarius energy. In the future, Leo, there you are in your own reading. Look at this. You view your future as being very stable. You're taking bold action. You're create. You're throwing caution to the winds in love. Look at you. So let's see how you view yourself in terms of what you're doing, how you're viewing your love life currently. The Ace of Coins, you're feeling as though pay dirt. You look at the coin and the Jupiter card of Wheel of Fortune. You feel as though your ships are coming in here. Three of Cups, oh my gosh. When we get the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups, that's an engagement card. Those are the, that's the engagement set, the traditional engagement combination. You feel as though in your heart space you love someone who is a dear friend. You want this person to be in your life in a very fantastic way and you're throwing caution to the winds. You are going to close out an old cycle with this person in which you felt very worried. So something is coming to the surface. You are taking action. You're letting go. We'll clarify these. for The next thing we'll do after I put the nine cards out is clarify for you. Then we'll clarify for your person. All right. What is hidden here for our beautiful Leo friends? The truth. There is an inner truth that you are recognizing now that you want to share. There is. You're really looking at this. Look at Spirit is suggesting you tell somebody that you love them. They are your ship. The ships come in. They, they have arrived. This person is in your life right now. We have Ace of Coins, Ace of Swords. This is a reunion card. The Ace of Cups is new love. You have three aces out of four aces. New beginning. You have the World card, new beginning. It is time. The time is right now, Leo. The time is right for that communication. Four of coins. At least for the short term, you're going to hold back. You're being self-protective. The Ace of Swords energy is Aquarian energy. It really speaks to the fact that you feel as though the timing is right, but you feel fearful. You want stability, Leo. Intuitively, you know you'll have it. All right, so let's look and see what your energy is to clarify this. This card can also represent another person in your life making an offer to you, okay? And you may not see it. You may intuitively know it, but you may not see it. Okay, so let's see here. This flipped. Look at what flipped over. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. By releasing something, you open your life to something else. You've known that truth for a while, Leo, and now you are throwing caution to the winds. It has something to do with your family. It has something possibly to do with a marriage, but there is a change that is very important for you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? An apology comes in. Look at that. Somebody comes in with a big offer. This is a Ten of Coins. It's a marriage card. We have the cards of engagement. We have new love. We have reunion. We have the offer. Look at this. This person wants to make, or you, you, this is your experience though. You're going to get your apology. The person's coming in with a big offer. You will have to make a choice. We see you with Aries energy here, Leo. You've, you're going to play it cool. You have the big chess piece. You're taking authority. You have authority in your life. You are going to make an investment in this person. You are going to be very uh, cerebral. Though you really love this person, you're also going to make logical decisions. 
with the King of Swords energy. King of Swords energy here. Again, you're playing it cool. This Emperor energy is all about you playing it cool in terms of accepting an offer, what you're going to do with it. The Tower card says that you're pulling your head up, that this person does. The situation is that somebody is going to make a very surprising offer. And look at it's a love offer. Spirit is trying to tell you, lift your head up, Aries. I mean, excuse me, Aries. This was Aries. Uh, Leo. That whatever it is that happened in the past with this person, you thought a cycle closed out. You're worried about it, but there's something unexpected that happens. And it the Tower card can be actually quite a lovely surprise. And in this deck, it's a really beautiful card. It's about restructuring the foundation. You know, lightning has struck and you have a beautiful opportunity to spend time with somebody. Surfing on a surfboard, now you could take that another way. Let me surf on you. <laughs> and the Eight of Wands flew out. Okay. Oh, look at this. You may be from different ethnicities, different countries, different cultures. The World card speaks to the fact that you're both very successful also. That is how you feel about it. You really want this person back. It does look like you have been studying the situation. It does look, it also looks as though this person has been watching you. The King of Pentacles wants to manifest. So that's what's hidden that you can't see. What does Spirit know about this Ace of Cups that Spirit is going to tell you? This is something that you're aware of. Somebody loves you and you know it. Somebody wants to have a surfboard and go on vacations with you, and you know it. There's a new beginning on the offing. It's very spiritual. It's very deep. It's Aquarius energy. That's your seventh house of marriage. So you are going to have a new opportunity. There's a very strong marriage theme here. All right, so let's see what we have. Why are you feeling so protective? Why are you feeling this four of coins? Why are you holding back and being so cool, calm, and collected? Because you're being cool, calm, and collected, but worried. Funny. This person has caused drama in the past, Leo. You love them. You're making an offer. They'll make an offer to you. But you have not been in contact. Here you go, Leo. Here you are. Look at that. The sun card, happiest card in the deck. That's you. And offers coming in to make you happy. Again, look at this. This is crazy. I get, look at this. This is just crazy. Look at, remember I said the Ace of Coins and the Three of Cups is the engagement. Here it is again. Undeniable. It's coming out of the blue. You don't see it. It's coming in very fast. It'll happen very quickly. It does look like you haven't seen this person in a while, and it looks as though there was some very, very difficult sort of fighting going on. This person did not tell you how much they loved you. You are manifesting them. When we look at the High Priestess with the Empress card, it speaks to the fact that this is the unmarried woman who becomes the Priestess. It's Divine Feminine. So it looks as though your outcome is to go from being single, sweet, innocent, hearted. Your partner could be this person. You could be this person. But it shows that this is a manifestation that you want to have. All right. So now we're going to go over and look at your person, Leo. Leo's person. And we're going to look at the original cards, not the clarifiers. I'm sure it will resonate there. This energy is very uh, unique, very beautiful, speaks volumes to the fact that you and a lover did not come together fully in the way that you could have, and now you're letting something else go. Okay, so why does your person, how does your person feel about judgment? Yeah, Nine of Swords. You have to release something. Your person didn't want to talk to you anymore if you didn't release something from the past. This person needed that. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Ah, time to make the offer. 
three engagement rings in a reading. It's time to make the donuts. It's time to make the offer. Maybe you'll put the ring in a donut. I hope not. <laughs> All right, look at this. Leo, your person's coming in as a Knight of Cups. Very romantic. They don't know if you'll accept their offer, so they're prepared to leave if you don't. The horse will be parked outside in a manner of speaking. Why else do we have this person coming in? Five of Wands. You are competing for their attention, but they have fire in their belly. They don't want you to get away. They're throwing caution to the winds because they forced you into a period of time when you have to make a decision about them, and they are coming back. They are coming back around, fire in their belly. They want back in your good graces. They want to win your heart again. Why do we have this ring here? There we go, Aries energy. So we have this beautiful energy that this your person wants to win you, Leo. A lot of fire in the belly for both of you. Aries energy, Aries energy. You're a perfect match is how your person sees the two of you. Why do they see you as their best friend? Ah. They see you as their best friend because you never you never held on to them too much. You always allowed them to be who they were, that if they were busy, you never really fought or fussed with them over what the schedule was. They might have done it with you a little bit. Your person may have wanted more attention from you, but you didn't do that with them. You felt very comfortable. You were a very good friend to them, but you feel as though this person allows you your freedom. You feel as though they allow you to be who you really are. And we have the trifecta here also. You have a grand trine and astrology. It is spiritual blessings because we have Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. That would be a grand shrine. So the, the beauty of it is that you're both fiercely independent. You both give each other freedom. And that is what made you best friends. It's what makes you, it makes you very successful together. Why does your person, yeah. They feel as though both of you use your intellectual capabilities very well. Your person feels also that you love them very deeply, even though you haven't said that to them at least in recent times but they love you too look at this outcome card they love you you love them you don't really talk about it you're not you might not even be talking right now i think there has been a separation here for a while the eight of coins your person feels as though they're getting to know you they understand you better in the past they didn't so much they were a page um, but now we have this Eight of Coins energy building mastery. What else about this energy? Yep, here we go, Queen of Cups. They see you, your person sees you as very loving, a very good mother, a very good provider. Why is the Ace of Cups and the Three of Swords here? Whoa, cards everywhere. Wheel of Fortune turns, okay, so your person thinks it's time. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The Ace of Swords and the Ace of Swords repeat themselves again. Your person feels it's time. Look at a proposal on bended knee. Your person is coming in on bended knee with this offer ring, okay, publicly too. All right, oh my gosh. Oh, look at this, this person, there's a marriage. I don't even have to, <laughs> so we go into this. So we have the person loves you, they want to marry you, you're their lover, that's a marriage card. You are their lover, you're their best friend, their soulmate, and they want to spend the rest of their life with you. So let's look and see what the whispers of love have to say about this relationship. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful energy. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, so what is the whisper of love for Leo about this reading? Speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change someone's life, including your own. And that's been kind of a theme here. It's an, they're not really saying how you felt about each other. 
Leo, leave comments below. I want to know who's getting engaged. I'll come to the wedding, maybe. All right. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Make comments, please, about what you see, what you think, what part resonates. Take care. Bye-bye, Leo.